Hello, hi guys, it's Inamika4 here with the HTC One M8. We're going to take a look at how to root this device, which basically involves unlocking the bootloader, installing a custom recovery, and then finally providing root access. We're going to be using a all-in-one toolkit from XDA developer Hasun2000. So if it comes in handy, check out the link down in the description where you can donate to him because it wouldn't be possible without his efforts. Before we begin, I just want to point out that neither myself, the developer at HTC or Google take any responsibility for anything that may go wrong during this process or if you completely brick your handset so do proceed at your own risk and with that in mind i would advise that you back up all important data because this process will wipe all the data clean off your handset to get started head over into your settings and then scroll all the way down to the bottom where you have developer options if you cannot see developer options then go into about software information more and tap seven times on build number until it says you are a developer then when you go back you should be able to see developer options just under printing go into developer options and put a tick next to usb debugging hit ok to the prompt and then go back a step and then go into power and then scroll all the way down until you see fast boot make sure there is no tick here so it's completely empty and then we're ready to go we're not going to plug the handset into our computer just yet because there's a couple of things that we need to do on our pc you can see i'm already on the developer's website here so i'm going to click on 1 2014 and in brackets m8 i'll try and leave a direct link to this page down in the description down below and you can see 1m8 all-in-one kit version 2.0.ra and this was last modified on april the 20th 2014. this is the one that we're going to download so click on here and then it should automatically start downloading if it doesn't just click on the actual link in the middle of the page that's finished downloading now so it should have placed it on my desktop there we go the file ending in dot raw we now need to extract this to our c drive of our computer the reason why we're going to the c drive is just to stop any possible errors that may occur later on it's just easier if it's all run from the c drive so i'm going to unzip it here and it shouldn't take too long to go through and just let us know where it's put it and there you go you can see it's extracted it to the c drive and it's called all in one m8 kit and we'll double click in here and that's the file that we're after 1m8.exe i'm going to double click on this and then hit run if you get a similar window pop up and i'm just going to get rid of this window in the background and move the toolkit up here so it looks slightly cleaner there's three steps to this the first section along the left hand side here is to unlock the bootloader once we've gone through these we can then install our custom recovery from the right hand side menu here and once that's been installed we can apply the permanent route so let's go ahead and select option one download htc drivers then hit go it should give us a prompt to say it's going to open up a, a website and then it's uh, compatible with windows 8 as well so it's opened up the browser and you can see it's automatically started to download the drivers if it doesn't automatically start just hit that link in the center and it should start downloading the drivers have finished downloading here so i'm just going to open those up and then hit run to the prompt here i'm going to close down chrome just so that we can see what's going on in the background and you can see it's going through the extracting process and it will go through the installation wizard as well with the drivers installed we can now go to step two register at htc dev hit go and it gives you a prompt to say it's going to open up a browser taking you to the website and that you need to use a real email address because they will be emailing you so hit ok and boom here we go the browser's loaded and we simply need to fill in this form here to register i've already done so so once you've registered ensuring your handset has at least 70 percent battery just to make sure you don't have any problems plug in your handset into your computer if you do get prompted for htc sync manager and auto play window simply x out to those select option three get token id and then hit go it then gives you a pop-up window saying this will help you to get your token id from your handset make sure usb debugging it has been enabled which it has you'll get two dos prompt window screens close the first command prompt window when your phone's in the bootloader the second screen will initiate and get the token id for you and then you need to highlight from identify token start to end right click and copy so we're ready to go we'll hit ok and we have the first window here we're on the bootloader screen on the handset now so we can exit out the first dos prompt window the second one loads and you can see there's the key that we need to copy so we need to highlight from identifier token start so what we'll do is right click edit and then mark and then we'll highlight from there to the end here then i'm going to right click edit and 
copy that just close that down as well now that we've got our devices token id we now need to submit it to htc so select option 4 submit token id then hit go it gives us a prompt to say we're going to take you to htc submission website scroll to the bottom paste your token id in the box and then hit submit you will then be emailed your return token id so we'll hit ok here and it takes us straight to the website you can see i'm already logged in here so we've gone through these steps already so we can ignore those go straight to the bottom and then right click and paste and you can see it's pasted everything in from identifier token start to identifier token end exactly and all we need to do now is hit submit and that should be it token submitted successfully excellent you've been sent an email with your unlock key as a file attachment i'll just bring up my emails here in a separate browser window and you can see here's the email that htc have sent me i'm going to download the file and save it to the root of my c drive i can also get rid of this as well because that's no longer needed and finally we can go to unlock bootloader step number five hit go and it'll say here we go locate your unlock underscore code dot bin which is the file that htc have just sent us make sure you are booted into bootloader it must say fast boot usb which it does in red there hopefully you can see that and it says make sure your usb cable is connected read htc's warning this will factory reset wipe out all your phone completely back up all your files your external sd card and sim card on your handset anything on your internal storage will be completely deleted as well so make sure your usb debugging is then re-enabled after it resets so we're going to hit ok and it now wants us to locate that uh, bin file that was sent to us by htc and there we go it's on the root of the c drive as we said unlock underscore code dot bin so we'll hit open and we get the prompt window and you'll notice on the handset it says unlock bootloader and we've got yes and no options here now we can use the volume up and down buttons to select yes and then the power button to confirm that selection so i'll hit that there and it looks like it's being rebooted. You can see on the DOS prompt window, it says writing unlock token, bootloader unlock token check successfully. Okay, finish total time 0.128 seconds. So that's now done and we can X out of this DOS prompt window and it says flash unlock underscore code dot bin done. So we'll hit okay. You can see on the handset here, it took a good couple of minutes to stay on that HTC One screen, but now it's gone into the setup wizard screen. So I'm gonna go through this and just set the device back up again. With the phone set up now, we need to remember to go back into our settings here and then re-enable USB debugging. So remember, developer options isn't there now because the phone was reset. Go into software, more, and then build number seven times, and then it says you are now a developer. So we'll go back a couple of steps here, and boom, here we go. Developer options, hit OK to that, and then we'll say, Put a tick next to USB debugging, hit OK to the prompt, and then we're done. And there we have it. We've gone through the first process of unlocking the bootloader, so that's now done. So we can now go into installing a custom recovery. So you've got Clockwork mod here, and you've got one specific for Sprint. You've got Twerp, and obviously a Sprint variant of that. I like Clockwork mod recovery, so I am going to be installing this. So we're going to hit flash recovery. We get a window now saying this will flash clockwork mod touch. Make sure USB debugging is enabled, which we've just done. You will have two screens when your phone is in bootloader. Close the first command prompt screen. A second screen will initiate and flash the recovery. That seems straightforward enough. So we hit OK. And I, we've got the command prompt window. It's saying error device offline. I have noticed this before. So I'm just going to unplug my device from my computer and plug it straight back in again into the same USB slot. Notice on the screen of the handset, it says allow USB debugging. The computer's RSA key is blah, -de blah. I'm going to tap allow from this computer always, then hit OK. On the screen on my computer, auto plays popped up so I'm going to get rid of that get rid of HTC sync manager and going back to the screen here if I exit out of this black window it says waiting for device so what we'll do is come out of this as well and click flash recovery again hit OK to the same window and this time it's actually doing something we're now in fast boot mode and you can see it says fast boot USB in red so we can close this first DOS prompt window 
and it says target reported max download size of blah blah blah, blah. send in recovery 12846 kilobytes okay 1.204 seconds writing recovery okay finish total time 1.921 seconds so this is now done so i'm gonna x out of this black dust pump window here with that done on my handset here i'm just going to select reboot using the volume up and down buttons and using the power as a selection the phone's now at the lock screen so i'm going to swipe in here and remove the usb lead as that's no longer required to the computer so what we're going to do is go into our settings here and then go down to power if i can find it there we go and then scroll down to the bottom and remove the tick next to fast boot mode and then simply shut down your smartphone in the normal manner. Once the smartphone is off, press the power button and the volume down button simultaneously until you get to fast boot mode. Still keeping those pressed down and here we go. Just bring that in a little bit closer. We're in fast boot now, so we're gonna use volume down till we get to recovery and then press the power button to select it and it should go into the custom recovery console that we installed called clockwork mod based recovery and here we go from here i'm going to tap reboot a system now and it will say root access is missing or broken this cannot be undone yes apply root yes we do want it to apply root access so i'm going to tap that and it should go through the process of applying root access and you can see towards the bottom there it's saying rebooting so it shouldn't take too long at all that's fully rebooted here so we should now have root access so what i'm going to do is go to the play store and download an application called root checker just to make sure we do indeed have a root access now this is a completely free application doesn't cost you a single penny and it's a quick way just to check that you do have root access that's finished installing so i'm going to hit open and we've got a disclaimer here so i'll hit agree to that and we'll hit ok there and we'll hit verify root and it says congratulations this device has a root access so that's how easily you can unlock your bootloader install a custom recovery and then gain root access on your HTC One M8. As ever, any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you liked this video and a lot like what you saw. And if you found it informative, then please do give us a like. And if you haven't yet done so, hit subscribe. It's just down there. It doesn't cost you a single penny. And you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day. And we'll see you next time.